Hey friends, it's Judith here from Snuggle Bugs, and today I'm here with the Peg Corrego 435 Lounge Infant Car Seat. So there are so many innovative features on the seat, not just in the safety of the install and that kind of technology, but it's called the lounge for a reason. So I'm excited to walk you through that. Let's start with who would use this seat. So it's Italian made and um, it can be used from four to 35 pounds or 32 inches, whichever comes first, all of that standard talk. But what we love about this seat is that the base actually has a load leg, which is an amazing kind of new safety feature, which helps to control rotation in the event of a crash. Also, we have this anti-rebound bar, which you guys are familiar with seeing in seats. Um, with rear facing, it's up against your vehicle seat, which again, just keeps the base nice and secure in the case of a collision. Obviously, we know that the install of your seat is what makes it a safe seat. So we love that you can actually just um, use this level here. If you can see, the base is actually moving up slightly so that you get a perfect install in your vehicle, depending on the slope of your seat. No pool noodles needed to be used for that install. Um, another thing to note about this seat is that there are two ways to install it. Obviously with the base and all of those safety features, um, you can use this latch system, but you can also tuck these away if needed to use a seatbelt install. If for some reason you were going to install your seat in the middle versus one of the sides. Another cool thing is you actually don't need the base at all to install this seat. I'll turn it around to show you easy if you're on the go. You can just follow um, the details here at the back with the blue. That's the blue all throughout this car seat means that it can do something for you. So let's talk about the shell, the base where baby's going to sit. Do I save the best for last? I really want to show you why it's called the lounge. So we know you might spend a lot of time in the car, but it's really not the best for your little one to be in their car seat for long periods of time. So when you've taken your little one, out of the base um, and maybe you've popped this on your stroller, you're walking the mall, you're you know out and about at the park, you can actually recline this seat. So I'll show you how that works. There's a little button on the back. It says comfort recline. You just grab it, pull back, and you can see that the little one inside has got a couple more inches to kind of recline and relax. I'll show it to you from a wide view just so you can see. So it's out, back in reclined and back in. And you might be thinking, can it be in the lounge position when installed on the base? And the answer to that is no, it will not connect. So you don't always have to remember if for some reason you have your little one in the lounge position, you know, you're not going to be able to get them secure onto the base. So great reminder, just put them back up and then you can clip them right in to go. So let's actually show you some features of the seat. If you want to get it off, there's a button down here. I've removed it from my base. So one thing, dudes, just put it back on. You really want to make sure that these indicators right here turn from red to green when you're connecting your seat. And there you hear, go. You will hear the audible click, but again, safety first, especially if you're a new parent. I know that's probably your concern, especially that first ride home from the hospital. Um, another thing too is if for some reason you are just storing your car seat away after your babe moves to their second their second stage convertible car seat, um, you can actually just pack away the load leg. And um, I mentioned before, but those UAS latches, there is a compartment to store those away too. Just, you know, Peg knows you're a parent and they're trying to be innovative, um, keeping it easy for you. Okay, so a couple more things. We're not actually installed, so it's harder to get it off. So let's talk about the canopy. Obviously you wanna protect your little one from the sun. Even if you have tinted windows, there's still sun shining through. So there's actually this extendable canopy built in to the top, UPF 50, but look at that. And I've zipped out some ventilation panels. If your little one is having a nap, you can kind of create this little cocoon for them, which is really great. Um, and as far as the inside goes, we did say four to 35 pounds or 32 inches, whichever comes first, but there is this extra padding, like an infant insert that depending on the size of your baby, you're gonna wanna take that out. 
I know personally at the hospital, I couldn't figure out why I couldn't get my little guy in. It's because the infant insert was there and he was a big baby, so you just have to pull it out. It's generally pretty easy to troubleshoot these kinds of things once you get used to it. Of course, a five point harness, these little cushions, again, always remembering you need to keep that chest clip up at armpit level. So even if your little one is small, you might actually wanna just unbutton these to remove them to ensure that that clip is where it needs to be. Haley is gonna love that tip. She's always on me about the safety features of our car seats. Okay, that's, that's a quick overview. Obviously we know there's side impact protection. Um, it's a really great seat, new to the market. That lounge feature, I have not seen on any car seat. Um, Haley, have I missed anything? What else should we tell them about Peg? I think you've pretty much covered it all. So Haley's the car seat expert and I'm the, I was gonna <laughs> say fun one, but she's still fun. So <laughs> little known fact, I'm sure you guys already know about the Peg Perego Siesta High Chair. We have a review of that on our Learning Center. But if you are a This Is Us fan, Kate and Toby, I have noticed, I can't help but notice, they have a Peg Perego travel system for their little one. So you heard it here first, keeping you guys in the loop. Um, this was the Peg Perego Lounge.